Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Sunday, June 5th, 2016. Pan here in the Lynn Life, Lucy in the Jamie Body Mind, other teammates in other dimensions, most of us in the subatomic, all of us subatomic to someone, and all of us in the physical. One of the great gifts of working in a physical body is that it's a lovely bringer of messages. We believe, by the way, that these are physical bodies, but many presences believe their bodies to be physical and have dis we have discovered that they are wrong. So although we believe these to be physical bodies, we do acknowledge that we could be incorrect. We're sure that they are at the dimension that we've been referring to as ground zero. So this particular ground zero body is providing signals to do with knees. Both knees have a small patch of dry skin on them and the left knee has intermittent pain and also now a feeling of uh, like the knee not working. So we're going to use whatever the root causes are of those messages as a doorway into healing the greater good. As always, our foundational intentions are to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions to manifest the divine plan. With that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. I notice how I constricted my crown during that so that I could just focus on saying what I needed to say. That's true. I know that really well so crazy. Like, no, no, God, hang on one second. I just need to get through this. Right. Then I can and then listen. then I can listen. Mm -hmm. Shush, shush. I know that really well. What now to heal the root causes of the knee issues and whatever they represent in such a way as to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan. I'm feeling a lot of disruption feelings around the physical knees. Um, and it doesn't feel like people even talking consciously. It's just kind of like thrashy around, like limbless creatures moving around. Um, and there's also this kind of feeling of exasperation around that, but it doesn't feel like the exasperation is coming from the limbless creatures. Uh, it's coming from someone else possible what we're being shown is basic training, the basic training level of the search for truth pillar. It kind of feels like that, mm -hmm. uh, like that kind of um, dark, crowded, yucky place. And now I, I have tears coming up in the eyes and the feeling is not actually a helpful feeling. I'm not sure whose feeling this is, but it kind of feels like uh, when people are faced with a situation that is um, a big problem and instead of looking for things that they can do, they focus on what they can't do. Who is that? Probably us. Probably us. That would make a lot of sense. And the feeling is definitely, um, I see, I'm choosing to see this situation as overwhelming and so instead of choosing to do what I can do, I'm looking at all the things that I don't think I can do and freezing instead of doing something to move forward in a helpful way. For all of us merging, we can start to at least clear this feeling out, clear it out, and then I can start to see what's actually going on. I get the sense that whatever this feeling is, it's actually clouding my ability to see what's happening and so I'm not relating to the situation effectively um, because I'm choosing to get all wrapped up in what I think I can't do. Mm -hmm. Merging and starting to clear this out for all of us. And it looks kind of like a cloud, like a big sticky cloud. Um, and it's starting to move up and I have a lot of tears in the eyes. Uh, and there's a lot of sadness coming up, like actual sadness. It doesn't feel like the same feeling as the yucky choice sadness. It feels like some other sadness coming up. It might be coming up from below where this yucky choice sadness was, like the yucky choice sadness was a cork or a clog. And now I feel um, like the space down below where I was starting to pump is opening up and so we can pulse deeper 
and pulse it up and it's still kind of this feeling of bad choices made about um, situations that were perceived as difficult or overwhelming. By whom? When I asked the question of who made the yucky decisions about how to deal with the situation, the answer feels very um, wide. Like if I feel with my hands the whom, it goes out farther than my hand stretches. And so what that might mean is that it's a universal pattern that's being reflected by presences close to home, like myself the soul presence, you the soul presence, the soul presence is in basic training, and that it's a large, large problem that's being reflected. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what this feeling is. Mm-hmm. And for all of us, for all of us who choose to focus on what we can't do rather than doing what we can do, mm-hmm. starting to pulse this up and out, clear it up and out through the pillar, and now the kind of gaseous part of it has moved up and there's like a sticky threads coming up and the sticky threads are all tangled and yucky and sadness and I feel presences uh, trying to pull them back down like no no these are my very important sticky threads and if I let you pull out all my very important sticky threads then um, then I won't be in be control in control and I won't be able to focus on them instead of focusing on what's needed and I need those is kind of the sound of it and they're really yanking on them and as I'm pulling up even some of those presences who really don't want to let go the sticky threads are popping out of the walls kind of holding on to the thread Pulling them up and out. Up, up and out for all of us. For all of us who choose to focus on what we can't do rather than do what we can do. All of us who choose excuses, which are two different things, but in this situation they both feel relevant. And now I feel more opening up feelings down below the base of the cavern where we were working before. And what's under there doesn't feel the same as these threads. We're still pulling out the threads, by the way. But what's under there doesn't feel the same. It's kind of a weird, globby um, mixture. The word is mixture. Like there are different things in there. And I feel that. There are different things in there, and I think it's been put that way intentionally so people get confused and maybe don't try to figure out what's going on and then just don't try to clear it because, oh, that looks like a great big confusing mess and uh, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to go deal with something that makes more sense to me. It's the feeling Mm -hmm. that it was put that way intentionally to make it unappealing to clean or unappealing to deal with in an effective way, and so people just leave it there that weird thing in the back of a closet, kind of. Mm -hmm. Um, There's also a really big sadness feeling and more tears in the eyes with the globby mixtures. And it feels slightly different than the way the last one felt. The feeling of these yucky mixtures is like the feeling that we felt in people whose houses are being foreclosed on by the bank. And as the first notices start to come in that you haven't been paying your bills, and what's going to happen if you continue down this road is your house is going to be taken away from you. The recipients of the bills, the people who own the house, start to have choices that they can make about how they choose with the situation. And what seems to happen in a lot of cases is that the homeowner decides to not deal with the situation at all Mm -hmm. because the effective thing to do when you can't pay for your house anymore is to acknowledge I'm going to have to move I can't afford this house Mm -hmm. and to sell the house and move but what seems to happen is that people get the notice that you can't pay for this house and we've noticed you can't pay for this house and pretty soon we're going to take the house away from you and they just choose to not respond 
they don't respond. They don't move towards selling their house. They don't move towards somehow ponying up the money to make it work, to create a sustainable situation in which to stay in their house. They just bury their heads in the sand and it gets worse and worse and worse until the bank eventually says, you need to leave that house, you need to leave it now. They're pretending the problem will go away if they ignore it. That's true. It doesn't work. It doesn't actually work. I see a lot of different names. That might be why it's so hard to identify. This collapse of the axis access into, into the, the smaller, smaller subatomic is on all, all of our records. records. What, are what are each of us as, as individuals, individuals going, going to do to make, to make it, it right? right? There are a lot of different names on these. This collapse of the, the access, access into, into the smaller subatomic is on all of our records. records. What are each, each of us as individuals going to do to make, make it right? right? Now there's some upward flow going, some upward motion going, and the space in basic training feels less cramped, less smooshed together. Like the limbless monsters are still there, uh, they're just more spread out. They're not as um, compacted. Looking straight up, straight up, and someone up above us is freaking out. Multiple someones are freaking out. And it feels like for a variety of reasons. Like some people feel a angry that we would bring up these topics and they feel like it's very rude uh, to talk about this kind of stuff. Um, we should all continue to ignore it. Yeah, that's what they feel. That's true. Very rude. Very rude to talk about this, and very rude to show it um, in public, kind of. I know that when we don't use things, they disappear. That's These true. These limbless creatures, they're choosing not to act. They're ignoring situations and therefore not taking action. So what do they need arms and legs for if they're going to be frozen into inaction? That's they're true. They're losing their arms and legs. That's the metaphor, that's the, the reason it's being shown that way. That makes sense and feels true. That's true, they're losing their arms and legs. By choosing By to choosing. not take action that they can take. That's true. Pulsing up the I can't. Pulsing up the I can't. I can feel what feels like a chain link screen and I'm pulling it up through the pillar and it's catching on these big heavy I can't boulders. Uh, boulders of the feeling of I can't. And I think it's possible those presences up above that are really upset about us talking about this are related souls of the presences whose names are on all the balls of I can't, or the bags of I can't, or the boulders of I can't. Um, because they seem to be taking it very personally, like this is something you're doing to me. There we go, getting a a sad feeling again, but it doesn't feel like a yucky sad, it feels like the good sad feeling. Uh, like when something you've kind of been dreading happening happens uh, and it wasn't great, but it also didn't kill you and what's that feeling called? It's similar to relief. That's true, it's similar to relief. And asking what now to heal the root causes of these knee problems and whatever they represent in such a way as to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan.